My real specialty is comprehension. And I am a comprehension specialist. Notice I would never call myself an expert. I really find that term unappealing with kids or with teachers. The idea sort of has a pejorative connotation to me, like an expert maybe knows it all. A specialist, which I'm proud to call myself a reading specialist, a specialist knows a lot about something, cares a lot about it, and always wants to learn more. It's kind of from the medical realm, right? We talk about specialists when it comes to docs. Same thing, I, I really, so I am a reading comprehension specialist. And you know, we're very lucky in the last dozen, 15, 20 years, that the whole notion of what comprehension actually is, is change. Comprehension is not about answering a bunch of those questions at the end of a text or, you know, or a chapter, you know. If a kid can answer those questions, they might have understood it, it's possible. But, you know, if they can't answer them, they still might have understood it. What color was the wagon? Red. Doesn't give us any indication as to whether the child understood anything. So comprehension is really, above all, this ongoing process of evolving thinking, okay? So it, it's like mostly the inner conversation that we have with text as we read, or with people when we listen to them, or with movies when we view them and hear them. It's this inner conversation. It's the voice in our head that says to us maybe when we are confused, huh, I don't get this part. Or the voice in our head that says maybe when we read on, oh, now I get it. Now I get it from reading on. Or the voice that says when we read on, now I'm really stuck. I have no clue at this point. That's comprehension. And comprehension is, or the voice that says maybe, hmm, never knew that before. That's interesting. That's comprehension. We need for our kids to understand that. We really need for them to know that comprehension is about understanding and thinking, not about answering a bunch of littler questions. And you know, they're getting a message maybe that that's not the case because so many of these, you know, tests that they're given across the country do have a lot of comprehension questions at the end. So we can see that kids are gonna need to take those tests and we will teach them test reading as a genre when those tests approach. But we want to always make sure that they are paying very close attention to their own inner voice because only when they listen to the voice in their head are they able to really make sense and comprehend. And also, only when they listen to that voice in their head will they notice when they strayed from real meaning. So it's really key, first and foremost lesson in comprehension is to teach kids to listen to the voice in their head by modeling our own.